Hello friends, in today's video we will see how to install VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11. In this video we will see how to install VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11 to run independent virtual machines. How to install VMware Workstation Pro in Windows 11? VMware Workstation Pro is probably the most popular virtualization software or a hosted supervisor in use today. It allows power users or advanced system administrators to set up independent virtual machines on a single physical computer simultaneously. When you install VMware Workstation Pro in Windows, you can create multiple independent guest computers, each running its own operating system without the need for additional physical hardware or support. This is a great software for system admins and users who want to run multiple guest operating systems without the need for adding new devices. For example, when you install VMware Workstation Pro in Windows 11, power users can create additional virtual computers inside VMware to run Mac, operating system, Linux, and Windows 10 without needed three separate computers. With Windows 11 released this year, VMware Workstation Pro is ready to install it and use seamlessly. Windows 11 came with many features, new features and enhancements such as a redesigned user desktop, centered start menu and taskbar, rounded corners windows, themes, colors and many more, which will allow users to integrate VMware Workstation Pro and utilize these new features. So how to install and enable VMware Workstation in Windows 11? VMware Workstation requires that the host machine has hardware visualized is enabled. Most computers today will have these features, however, it might be disabled in the BIOS. You may have to reboot into the system BIOS and enable virtualization technology in the system BIOS settings. Once you enable hardware virtualization, log back into Windows and go back to the link shown on the screen to download the latest copy of VMware Workstation Pro for Windows. So right now I will be clicking on this link to download my VMware Workstation Pro. For your convenience, I will be adding the same link uh, from where you can download the VMware Workstation in the description box. Let me save the file. And once it is downloaded, we will proceed with the installation. So after downloading the installer, you have to run this setup file. So over here you will be prompted with the installation wizard welcome screen. Just let me close the browser now. And we will focus on the installation. So click next to go to the next screen. 
to begin the installation over here you will be prompted with the end user license agreement you must accept the terms in the license agreement before you will be able to continue with the installation so once you have accepted the terms and conditions the license agreement click next to go to the next screen on this next on this screen you can either accept the default path which is in the c drive or else you can just change the path or customize the path as per your requirement over here i am putting i will proceed with the default path to integrate the keyboard properly you will want to check you will have to che uh, check the box next to the enhanced keyboard driver also check the box so that additional console tools can be installed into the system path click next to continue this, uh, just check both the boxes it is checked by default the first one will check for the product updates and second will be checking for your implement programs and all click next it is asking you that whether you want to create the shortcuts of the vmware workstation on desktop and the start menu program folder keep it as it is and click next it's ready to install now so we will be clicking the install button to begin the installation and you can see after a brief moment vmware workstation pro setup wizard should be completed So now click on the finish button to complete the setup if you have a license for your copy of vmware workstation pro click the license button to add the licenses key once you click finish it's asking you to reboot your machine so now over here you will reboot then log back in again So friends now the machine is rebooted once you log, log back in open your vmware workstation pro icon on your desktop you have to click this icon a uh, vmware workstation pro icon from your desktop to open and now you can see the software is ready to be used and ready to create new virtual machines option you can see over here to create a new virtual machine so my friends if you find any error while installation please feel free to comment me in the comment box 
In the next video, we will see the installation of various operating systems and the VMware networking. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please share with your friends and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.